Hello everyone. Welcome to Mr. Tech Tuner and today we are going to solve week 2 of operating systems and you becoming a power user. Okay, so basically in week 2 they talked about the user administration and the access. So first question or first quiz of this administration is basically on permission. So we are going to check out the quizzes of permission. So if you look about this question, the first question is what are the basic Linux file permissions? Okay, so they are read, write and execute, not modify. Okay. So these three. You are given the output as an LSI of a file in Linux. Okay, so answer the following question. What does the file character output signify? This is a books file is a directory. Okay, and third question. You are given output LS1 of a file Linux like that, a call group. Okay, so what does it mean? That means the group file belongs to and regular file and file owner all of the users. Four. You are given output like this. And what permissions does the second trio of bits WX give you? Check all the reply. It will give you the W and X are write and execute w means write and x means execute for permission okay so and w write is also okay now the last question if i wanted to change permission of a file called honeybears what command could i use to grant write access to the owner of the file without changing other permissions the owner currently only has a read access to file okay so check all the template so ch mode u plus w honeybears that will be the fair answer for this question okay so that's all in week two i think the quizzes the practice quizzes there are not that much quizzes you can see all are the lecture videos you can go through them they're really useful so we are going to our credit assignment which is basically we need to create modify and remove file okay, so uh, we need to open the quick lab tool after opening the quick lab just press the start button and here you will get again we need to go to our remote desktop connection okay so open the remote desktop connection so copy the ip address paste it connect and again copy the name paste it and then copy the password then also paste it okay so just here paste it okay so wait for the moment for initialization it will take some time okay so first of all we need introduction we need to access the virtual machine we need example one okay so there is five example we need to go through all of them okay so for this we need to go to see users quick lab documents okay so there you have a file named important document okay so your goal is to this example to change the permission of user tara only had access to this file okay so first we need to process this command in our execution okay so we want to go to our remote desktop connection that's already loaded now and cross the server manager so, okay so again you want to read the uh, read this fully with careful uh, so first what you need to do you need to go to this directory and then you have a file named important document so your goal is the example to change it okay so then uh, kara is write permission have rw so you can do this simply by using this command so all you need to do is just go to this and run the cmd command or powershell search for powershell windows powershell okay okay so there is a mistake you shouldn't make it run the powershell always as an administration okay so don't make this mistake right click on it and run as administration yes okay so entered now we need to comment the next one uh, copy the next one remove kara and also important data and then the last one okay so we need another so double check okay so check the uh, check whether your progress is made or not okay so this that's all now we are going to example 2 again we need to enter the code uh, that command that we copied already so uh, the 5 the give phobe a read access okay so you can access by the grant phobe so copy the command and paste it so the command is granted so we need another quick clip secret folder and we need to look for this okay so then what we can do the our last we need to grant kara for write access and again search for kara's secret file and that's it check all your progress yeah. example three copy the music we need to check for our music files music file is checked now we need to remove and we need to remove everyone okay so music and now grant for everyone okay so now we need to again recheck so check finally your progress is made or not okay so our progress is made now example number four we need to check out for our important document again 
check so you can see there is an authority of authenticated user right authority system i f and in authority right okay so i f r x okay so they both have access now we need to copy our next command for authorized users w Oh, shouldn't get copied. Okay, so there is some mistake happened. So you should again do this. Copy the first for important folder, important document. Okay. Then again, copy the important document for user purpose. Paste it. And the last one, important document. Enter. Check your progress. And that's done. Okay, so example number five. Again, we should check for our public document. Okay, so we should check for our grant of the public and public document. Check for the progress, whether it is done. Okay, so that's done. Uh, look for your score. It's 50 by 50 conclusion. And now we need to end our lab. End your lab. Okay. And cross your remote desktop. Okay. Submit five star. Okay. So then go there and press next. That's all. Now we need to do the same thing for Linux. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing for Linux. Now what do we need to do? Again, download the PPK. There's a gateway. And again, search for Puti. Where is Puti? Run as administration. SSH telnet. Okay, so copy the username. Paste. At the rate, copy IP address. Paste IP address. SSH auth. Browse the PPK. Okay. Open. Yes. Okay, so now we need to do the same thing for this checking permissions. Okay, so for checking the permission, we need to copy the command. Okay, we are checking. So ls1 important document where it is. Okay, so they already checked. Okay, so that's perfect. Changing the file permission. ls important document. And check your progress okay so that's done now we need to change folder permissions cd okay so what it would be ls lg secret folder done so now what you need to do there's a thing that you need to do there's u standard for stands for user and x stands for execute okay so you should be careful about this u and x okay so then we need again to recheck the secret folder okay so now uh, there's the sudo prompt for gnw secret folder and again sudo prompt for gnw secret folder enter okay so final permission has come okay so or command also given and lsld secret folder and the last and the final secret folder command is also given so modify of the permission is changed of the secret folder so now we need to change the owners of the folders Okay, so we are on the way to change. Now we need to home Taco. Okay, so the name will be Taco. To check your progress, whether the name is changed or not. Okay, so the name is also changed to Taco. So now we need to do more practices of CD documents and also more documents. And the most important thing is here is to check out the documents and LS not important. And sudo comment for the document not important 764 the final command and now check your progress done adding multiple permissions at all so we will try to do multiple permissions at once. so then again copy and right click enter okay so then the second command also right click enter and then also copy it right click enter i hope you should check your progress it's done and you see your score will be 100 out of 100 so that's really great right so now conclusion and finally we should end our lab okay our lab is ended and give five star right cool so what's about our uh booty closed closed and press next and everything will be okay like that so thank you for staying with us and stay with us for our next and week three submission so till then press the like button and also don't forget to subscribe and till then